Good evening. Happy Wednesday. I'm waiting for the uh, chickens to go in. The uh, sound quality might be terrible because it's nice and breezy out tonight, which is welcome. It was a hundred and some odd degrees. The uh, I bought a chest freezer, a 24 cubic foot chest freezer from Home Depot, and they said that, uh, and they said that my delivery, my I got free delivery. I qualified for free delivery for installation and hallway of the uh, of the cardboard and packaging and and uh, skid and all that fun stuff. And uh, they just dropped it. They just they just did a drop in scoot. They didn't they didn't install it. My wife's like, they said that they said it was just a drop. I'm like, no, no. And I verified it. Yeah, they were supposed to install it. So, so my happy fat ass got to uh, unpack and and maneuver a 24 cubic foot chest freezer into the garage. Yay. So anyway, the breeze is very welcome. But that's not why you uh, tuned in. You tuned in because I watched the uh, Carolina Fort Worth CCTV video and the uh, cops body cam video. And they've done nothing but reinforce my opinion that Caroline in Fort Worth is going to get a big payday. In fact, I revised my estimate upwards. Uh, I think she's going to get at least a six figure settlement. I would not be shocked if she got a half a million dollar settlement. I figure it'll probably be somewhere in that $100,000 to $500,000 range, depending on a lot of circumstances that I don't know and that nobody will know until after everybody does their negotiation and walks away with the number. And you and I will probably never know what it is, so we won't know how good or dumb or wrong I am because there will probably be a non-disclosure agreement because the city is going to want to deter future people who have been uh, roughed up by the cops from suing the city in hopes of getting a large payday. Goddamn chickens just don't want to go to bed tonight. Anyway, uh, some issues, some issues. Uh, cops can use force to make an arrest. In Texas, my understanding is that you can't resist an unlawful arrest, but you can resist excessive force. Now, the amount of force that is necessary to uh, get you to comply is just the amount of force necessary to get you. Uh, you can't, you can't face plant a 60 year old lady into the pavement because she's making her arms a little bit stiff for you, tough guy. You can't do it. You can't do it. That amount of force isn't justified in that circumstance. I mean, let's look at the facts, folks. There were three cops there. The two ladies who apparently had no issue with her until after the male cop decided he wanted to do arrest her and a male cop. So there's three people, one male and two females, one fit younger male, two fit younger females against one 60 plus year old lady who's been ridden hard and put away wet more than once. The 60 plus year old lady, he's, she's got a phone in one hand and keys in the other. She is not presenting a threat. In fact, she's known to the cop. The male cop gets out and addresses her by name. He knows who she is. He knows what she's about. She's been auditing now for what, five, six, seven, eight years, somewhere in there. Cops know her. She knows the cops. Cops don't like her. She's probably fine with that. You know who else doesn't like her? I'll bet the DA doesn't like her because DAs and cops go together like peanut butter and jelly. Or for those of you who uh, prefer these kinds of things, mayonnaise and horseradish. Uh, So if the DA dropped the charges, I'm not, I'm going to assume it wasn't because the DA had some fondness for her or the DA couldn't find room in his hectic schedule to fit her four misdemeanor charges in there. I'm sure that he dropped them as soon as he saw them because he looked at the video and he looked at those charges and he said, uh, no, this isn't happening. There's no probable cause. You gotta have probable cause to make an arrest, boys and girls. You can't charge someone with a resisting arrest if you didn't have probable cause to make an arrest in the first place. Now, you can't resist an unlawful arrest in Texas, but you can resist excessive force. Excessive force is the amount of force necessary to effectuate the arrest, and I think they exceeded that by a country mile. She wasn't a threat. It's a well-lit, well-lit scene. They could see what she was doing. They knew who she was. They could see that she had both hands occupied with things that... I mean, I guess technically anything could be a weapon, but she's a 60-year-old lady. I don't think, I don't think she's going to go Wolverine with her keys on anybody. 
And so this is gonna go, this is gonna go real quick. Been thinking about it, thought about it, thought about it. 12B6 on the excessive force. That's the big payday for, uh, for ain't going anywhere. If the, uh, if her attorney, competent attorney, hopefully, if her attorney decides he wants to go with, uh, with uh, unlawful arrest, an arrest without probable cause, uh, he might do it. I mean, you know, that's another theory of recovery that might get her a few more dollary dues if it does go to trial, which again, I doubt it will, but that, that's a hit or miss on a 12 B six. I don't know if that'll make it past the judge, but the, uh, excessive force, that's a question of fact for the jury. That's going to get passed. So it might be in the city's best interest not to waste money on the attorneys to have the attorneys draft a 12B6 motion that isn't really going to solve the problem. And they might just go ahead and uh, say, how about we settle this? So I'm pretty convinced after today that the settlement's coming sooner rather than later. And like I said, it's going to be bigger than uh, the minimum that I was projecting based on uh, the limited facts I had from just from Caroline and Fort Worth's video. Now that I know she has the dislocated shoulder and the dislocated elbow and the stitches in a couple spots on her face, the nice shiner, all, all that jazz. Now that I know that, uh, it's gone up, kids. You can't, you can't fuck up a 60-year-old lady like that, whether you like her or not. You can't fuck up a 60-year-old lady like that as a cop with basically no probable cause when she's not a threat just because you gave her one command once and she didn't want to follow it. And she didn't even refuse. She just, she just said, you know, tell me why, tell me why. Now I get it, you know, because I was watching find fix finish and they watched Kaiser and Kaiser was watching uh, fraud or troll. I get it. You know, there's always going to be the Kaisers of the world who no matter how bad the, uh, actions of the officer are they'll try to justify it oh she was drunk in public oh wait she wasn't charged with that you dumb shit just making shit up whole cloth to try to justify the cops getting to do what they did to her and fraud or troll saying oh well you know i really can't tell we really need we really need to get the uh body cameras from the two female cops why i'll tell you why it's because he can't exonerate the cop from what he saw he can't say the cop didn't do nothing wrong from what he saw so he's hoping he's hoping that two more body camera angles will give him something something to hang on to but i hate to break this to you kids you know i don't like caroline in fort worth i mean she has nice tits but that's it that's all she got going for her. i don't like her personality she's dumb she's belligerent she's an asshole she's all those things she's she's the kind of person who gives auditors a bad name but what that cop did was wrong what that cop did was wrong and irregardless or if you prefer just plain old regardless of how you feel about her and how bad of a person she is and how terrible she is and how all the things she does is wrong what she was doing that night did not justify what that cop did and we gotta we got what we call ourselves rule of law here boys and girls and rule of law says that if a cop uses excessive force then you get to recover your money damages. And that cop used excessive force. And so she gets to recover her monetary damages. You don't get you don't get to be a cop and just beat up on 60-year-old ladies and and tear them up like that over them not jumping to your first command as fast as you want them to. Sorry, doesn't work that way. Anyway, thanks for watching. Congratulations to you, Carolina in Fort Worth. You're going to get that payout you always wanted. Again, my condolences to uh, CJ Grisham. Your little scam grift thing didn't work. I was wondering, I was wondering on that how uh, how CJ became her attorney before she was even out of jail, before she was even out of the hospital. I'm like, did this motherfucker, did this motherfucker walk into that hospital and bring her a, a fee agreement to sign while she was in the hospital? I mean, I. I'd hope he didn't do that. I would hope he didn't do that. But you know what? He's kind of he's the kind of clown of an attorney who gives attorneys the bad name of ambulance chasers. Anyway, that's all I got for you tonight. I'm going to check to see if there's any other uh, chicken still running loose. Have a good night.